Assalamu alaikum everybody. I hope you're all doing well. My name is Chimmy Q. And, and I'm Svea. That is not ever going to be a thing. So you better shut up and let me do this <laughs> intro again. Oh you really God. said that like you were adding into my videos. Absolutely not. You better sit there. Hi, it's Carly Theop. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum everybody. I hope you're all doing well. My name is Chimmy Q. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I have Sumaya here. Yeah. I've been meaning to do a hijab tutorial for so long and I'm like, you know what, so may I come over here Let me just show y'all how I wrap my hijab. The first thing I do with my hijab is I always start off with an under uh, underscarf Now sh this is not an underscarf. She's actually wearing a turtleneck, which is fine But I always do wear an underscarf that actually covers your head along with the neck part So, you know, it's not anything that shows um, underneath your hijab Especially because when I do wear my chiffon hijab, those are very see-through So it's either you have to wrap it double or um, you should wear an underscarf only so nothing shows underneath So along with that, she also has a hijab cap that also is covering her ears so everything of course is covered literally all you're gonna need guys is your hijab and then also a safety pin now I love chiffon hijabs because I feel like it just looks a lot better like it sits a lot better on some on my face at least but jersey is nice too I feel like with the jersey I don't have to do much I don't have the safety pin and do all the things that I do usually with a chiffon scarf but just starting off the first thing we're gonna do is just wrap it on her head like this like so that's what all the like vloggers do like like so and the thing also that sucks about chiffon guys is like if you if you put like oil and all that stuff in your hair like a lot of the time it literally you know it shows so you have to be really careful with what you put in your hair when you use a chiffon hijab but the first thing that i love to do one side is always going to be longer than the other side so i'm choosing her right side to be the, the shorter side as you guys can see like this is shorter and this is a lot longer so it's very simple grab a safety pin make sure everything's covered here and then I always pin underneath the chin show my edges we're not showing edges bro what I do is I pinch maybe three four inches um, away from the beginning of the hijab and I do that to kind of frame my face out so I kind of like it with a triangle kind of like a triangle look on the top and here make sure and we're gonna adjust this so if it doesn't look even guys we're adjusting later on so then you safety pin the bottom here you could safety pin i do like it when it like kind of pokes up a little bit here see just frame it however you want so now with these two pieces there's two options so for the shorter end you could keep it up here and then just have the longer end wrap around your face like that Ooh, that's so pretty see mm -hmm. So just, just look around so they can see. Wow, so gorgeous. Gorgeous. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. So I said that's enough. So you could either do that. <laughs> or what I like to do. This is very casual, but I feel like what looks very flowy and elegant and how my hijab usually sits is I put this piece back. So I put this piece back here. So that is literally just hanging at the back. And then I bring this piece. And it goes through that as well. Wow, girl, gorgeous. You look gorgeous. Wait, sit down. Oh my gosh, I might just have to wear it like this. You might have to, girl. You look good. So then, this is how it looks in the front. Of course, you could adjust it if you want to cover your chest a little bit long. If, if you want to cover yourself a little bit more in the front. But it could hang like this, and then it drips off of your shoulder. So then, turn the chair. That's how it would look in the back. I absolutely love it like that. So that's how I usually wear my hijab. That's how I'm wearing it now. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching my hijab tutorial. I actually have a few more that I do, but this is my everyday style. Yeah. And I will have other models for that. Yeah, but she showed me because like, I'm like, um, how do you say better without saying better? <laughs> Cause it's haram, you're not better than anybody. So Y'all might have to wear it like this. Um, how you freaking look bro i'm sorry i really tried to fix your damn bro face. i'm <laughs> here because i look presentable i look better in the mirror though dog Smith. because you know in the because mirror you, you actually look prettier there it's mm -hmm. a real accurate version of yourself you can't. Anyway, just kidding hey, you know, quiet. Just quiet. can you shut up i don't like when people don't understand my sense of humor Maya was trying to you know sneak this me 
If that's what she could say because she said, uh, she doesn't wear her hijab like me. Girl, yeah. you wish you could wear my you hijab guys like me, girl. Me, bro, because, like, you know, you don't. It looks good. See? Yeah. And the flowy in the back, ain't it? And then when I walk, I look like a princess, bro. People stop and look. They'd be like, where'd that girl from? I'm like, oh, I'm from America. And I'd be like, oh, where you really from? I'd be like, oh, I'm from uh, Wakanda, bro. I'm from Wakanda. But I'm from Wakanda, but specifically in Wakanda, there's a place called Islam. I come from there. And they'd be like, oh, that's so interesting. I've been meaning to visit. I'm like, yeah, come on down. You know, our people are mad friendly. Our people are mad friendly. Look Anyways, we're about to go. Is, bro. Oh, Smith's actually so pretty, bro. Thank you, guys. Hey, actually. See? Hey, guys, I'm actually like her sister. Oh, you're not. I'd be ghetto in the videos, but I could be... I can have decorum. She actually can't. Oh. And I'll be fair. The only reason why she was a model was because there was no one else to model at the moment. 